Hello and welcome back to another video here on the Old McDonough YouTube channel. Today in this video I am looking into Celtic's new signing, Maurice Jens, coming from France. The German centre defensive midfielder is coming to Celtic on a one-year loan deal with an option to buy for Celtic. Celtic have also completed the deal with Aaron Moy, who I looked into yesterday on the channel. So if you do want to check that out, that is on the channel. That is my second news video after this one. So, without further ado, let's basically get into some of his stats here. I think he is going to be a very good signing for Celtic. Here we go now. So as we can see here, he is rated 2.5 million. It has gone down a bit in the past season, but still, he is highly rated and he played 18 times last season in Ligue 1 in France, which playing against teams like PSG with Messi, Neymar and Mbappe, you know, you can't go wrong with that. He's a centre back, as I'll show you this here graphic now from Transfer Market, the best place to get all your information on players. There it is, so he's main position is centre back and uh, other positions he'll play in right back and sweeper occasionally but not as frequent so why is this why is this deal good for Celtic this deal is good for Celtic first of all we needed a backup centre back and if he, impre if he impresses I would say we'll go and buy him the fee isn't clear yet what we'll have to pay for him but I wouldn't say be too much as market value as it said there on screen moments ago, 2.25 million pounds, which for a centre back is decent money. You'd want to get a good player out of him. He is the number six, as we can see here on screen, taking near Beton's number. And think, I think personally, you can't go wrong like with a player like him. He's good, he's tall, German as well. Carter Vickers and Starfelt, I think, are still gonna stay the number one in the in their positions, but I still think he could challenge because what playing eighteen times in League One, you know, it's it's decent as well. So coming in Champions League, he's gonna be good for depth. We need to back up Stephen Welsh. Just doesn't seem to be good enough yet. Anyway, other players coming through like Lawwell. But they're not at that level yet, so it's definitely a position Celtic needed to improve on. And now we're going to move into the next the next player. And that is Aaron Moy. I confirmed this yesterday on the channel around 7pm. And it's officially confirmed now by Celtic. It is a good bit of business. Celtic will have him on a year now. One year. And an option to extend that for a further year. He was in China with Shanghai Port but wasn't able to play for the last few months due to COVID guidelines. So if you do want to see more information about him, some stats and why he will be good for the club, go check that out. That, that video is on my channel right now. So if you do want to, go check that out. That is a good video. And yeah, good news to get the double signings over the line. I think that will be almost the end of the business now for Celtic. But maybe one, one, two more because there still is a few weeks left in the transfer window but we'll have to see. If you did enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe for this is breaking news now. I confirmed the Iron Moy deal yesterday. Celtic have confirmed the double signings today. So yeah, chat to you all later. Hill hill.